I'm super bullish about Bitcoin for especially the year to come. And um, though it definitely is riskier, I'm even more bullish about Ethereum. Um, so there's a couple of reasons for that. Some of them are technical drivers in the, in the price and its relationship to the price of Bitcoin, as well as um, fundamentals or technical developments in Ethereum itself. So first to speak to, you know, the Bitcoin ETH ratio of value, the market cap of, cap of ETH, I think of it, as of today is about a sixth of that of Bitcoin. Historically, it's gotten to be a much larger market share. We've seen Bitcoin already cross over its all-time high and Ethereum has been flirting with it at the end of last year and this year. And um, I expect that it's going to return to similar ratio models as we saw in 2017 of um, higher prices of Ethereum. We could see it anywhere in the realm of 3,000 to 5,000 at some point. And I assure you, it'll go up and down violently along that path. And so some of it's just that technical history as well as all the increased scale and uses, legitimate uses of Ethereum, uh, like, you know, large scale staking and smart contract platforms in the DeFi realm of kind of replicating financial practices like lending or derivatives trading without a middleman to uh, take rent type fees on the whole thing. Um, secondly, ETH is upgrading to uh, ETH 2.0. So they're gonna have 64 times as many Ethereum blockchains effectively or 64 times the computing power uh, also part of this is a transition from proof of work to proof of stake without getting into the technical mumbo jumbo. It means that there will be a lot of ETH already locked up and not in circulation over the next couple of years that earns interest, but isn't um, actively being traded. And we'll see so that diminish uh, supply and an increase in demand as the uses and uh, just general knowledge of Ethereum grows. Uh, I expect that the, the prices will will rise upwards. As similarly, I think the same benefit of Bitcoin's experiencing from increased retail access to uh, investing in Ethereum. So on PayPal, Square, Robinhood, uh, will also translate from Bitcoin over to Ethereum. And we'll also start to see institutions, you know, if Bitcoin's the gateway drug, then, then Ethereum's the kind of next thing you're going to try. And so uh, I think we'll start to see institutions start to peek their heads in. We see the CME is introducing uh, a derivatives market for Ethereum in just a couple of days here. I just only expect that to, to continue to grow.